Науковый семинар тоже примерно. А, хоча и дещо безнажливо, я сказав. Сьогодні у нас гостя професор сюди приходиться Казусамо Ошіма. Це університет Сага Південної Японії. Там якраз саме порада і хуні. Сьому віку ж ми спілкувалися, там вони дали. Та й джунгі. За іншими, ну, така погода, що я кажу, що спеціально така погода для того, щоб професор був в Україні, вони вже сподобалася вся ця історія. Будемо мати надію, що в результаті цієї зустрічі у нас буде підписаний договір про творчість і робітництво. І, можливо, комусь з вам дасть навіть по цьому обміну подивитися, яким же чином відбувається це все свіжені вирусів в Японії. Коротка така передусловлення. Чому, власне, професор Шима тут у нас приїхав? Є такі форми міжнародного спіронтівництва, є латеральні проєкти. Україна з Японією підписує проєкт на проєкт, підписує договір про те, що може бути проєкт. Тоді українські і японські вчені один одного знаходять і дуже спільний проєкт з відмінною такою, з одним дешпеграундом, щоб було зрозуміло, що це проєкт цікавий, як і проєкт, так і український. Будь-як ці проєкти окремо в Україні, окремо в Японії аналізуються, і ті проєкти, які займають першу десятку, залежності від фінансування, вони, вони, верніше, отримують право на життя і починається виконання цих проєктів. Ми маємо дивну ситуацію, коли ми подали цей проєкт, в Японії він вже пройшов конкурс і вже був виграний, саме тому, Казусато в нас сьогодні і є. В той час, як з нашої сторони, наш проєкт, який був поданий від кафедри вірусології, з таким дійсно Олексієм Олексієм Шевченка, досить вірусів в нашому міністерстві, і його подальша доля не відбувається. Це є одна така ілюстрація того, як розвивається наша наука, і куди треба нам діти, де треба щось в цьому міні. Однак, як би там не було, я думаю, що сьогоднішня лекція, вона є дуже актуальною. Від того, що сьогодні еволюція вірусу – це дуже модна тема, яка стосується далеко не тільки вірусу. Тим більше, що мова йде про еволюцію вірусів рослин. Тому що саме цей напрямок еволюції вірусів не заслужено залишається на узбіччі. Коли говорить про еволюцію вірусу, це вперше всього вірусу медицинцію, це вже кардіола тепер є, і ще багато інших. Хоча насправді віруси рослин не менш важливі для життя людини в тому числі, ніж і ті віруси, які вражують його масати. Тому мені дуже приємно предоставити, надати слово професору. Казусато Вишіме з його лекцією «Quant Virus Evolution» і не знайомося. Дякую за інтродукцію. Я не можу говорити з Україною. Я намагаю говорити в японській. Здора сто віче. Меня зовут Хадзусато Ошима. Очень рад познакомиться. Спасибо. First, I would like to say many thanks for giving me a chance to introduce my studies, Alex and Kobe. And I want to introduce first Japan. You know Japan? Yes. <laughs> but I'm from Kyushu Island. But I born in Hokkaido. Hokkaido temperature is very similar to Kiev. But here a little bit hot. So this is uh, where I uh, work at Saga University. So, about 2,000 kilometers from here to there. Okay. Next slide, please. How do you like it? I will introduce some of the uh, famous Others in the Saga project. We have the old Yoshinogami Dewey's. This was uh, from the Christ uh, 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 born before 300 years, and then uh, after 300 years, we have this kind of the house. But not, not, not now. Very old. In, we call this Yayoi period. In Yayoi period, Rice culture and settle down culture started in Japan. So about we have two thousand years rice culture. Now. Next slide please. 
And this is one of the famous our, uh, festival we have. We call this International Balloon Fiesta Championship. So this is about uh, uh, November 10th. Many balloonists came from the world and have a balloon fiesta. OK, next slide, please. Huh? Back. OK, OK. Back. One more back. One more back. Oh, yes, I have to introduce. Uh, so here's the saga prefecture. And uh, we have many famous, for example, we have bus skippers. And this is very famous, China. I think you have, we have seen uh, Chisweka Museum. This, remember? Urena? <laughs> and we also have Mad Olympics. OK. <laughs> next slide, please. So I was, no, OK, next slide. Next one, next one. Okay, I will start, I will start my talk for uh, my, our studies. Do you know this? I think you know. This is a phylogeny of organism made by Hecker, 1866. But in biology, phylogenetic is the study of evolutionary relation among groups of organisms, uh, which is uh, discovered through the molecular sequencing data and morphological data matrix. The result of progenic study is a hypothesis about the evolution history of the taxonomic group uh, their phylogeny. Okay? And uh, I think you know this. <laughs> not, not my name, not my name. <laughs> it's a Hitchcock. Okay? Uh, uh, sorry, Darwin. Darwin. <laughs> Everybody Hitchcock and Charles Darwin drew the phylogeny. It's the first time to draw the phylogeny tree. Okay? Next slide, please. So, when we think about plant bias, 100 years after Hegel drew the phylogeny tree, this is a first report on plant bias and like phylogeny. And his name is Adrian Gibbs. I'll show you later because he's a, my uh, good friend. Mm -hmm. And he drew the phylogeny tree using nucleotide constitution. In 1969, he had written advanced in virus research. Okay, this is the first time to draw phylogenetic for plant viruses. Okay, next slide, please. So I have to tell you the difference of the molecular phylogenetics and molecular evolution. Molecular phylogenetics is a part of molecular evolution studies. Nothing. Uh, for example, molecular phylogenetics is uh, the branch of phylogeny that analyzes uh, hereditary molecular differences, mainly in DNA sequence, to gain information on our organism's evolution relationships. The result of molecular phylogenetics analysis is expressed in a phylogenetic tree. Molecular phylogenetics is one of the aspects of molecular systematics, a broad term that also includes the use of molecular data in ta taxonomy and biogeography. This is the molecular phylogenetics. But the molecular evolution is quite different. Molecular evolution is a change in a sequence composition of cellular molecules such as DNA, RNA, and protein over a long period of time. Molecular evolution attempts to explain biological change at the molecular and the cellular level using the principles of evolutionary biology and population genetics. The major topics in molecular evolution concern that Rate and impact a single nucleotide change, neutral evolution versus natural selection, origin of new gene, the gene nature of complex trait, the uh, genetic base of a spe uh, special special evolution of development, and the way that evolution force influence uh, gen genomic and uh, uh, phenotypic change. So please remember this. This is the most important uh, explanation of the difference between molecular phylogenetics and molecular evolution. Okay, yeah, please. Uh, maybe this is a little bit difficult, but uh, recently we have many bioinformatics programs. These are useful uh, how to virus evolve. For example, the most uh, typical program is uh, uh, producing phylogenetic tree. For example, maximum likelihood, maximum parsimony, and they will uh, join method. 
But these three are a little bit now old. Now is uh, very passionate using uh, Bayesian uh, periodic tree. And this is a little bit complicated. And for example, for recombination detect detecting programs, we use a file pro, C-scan, Bluetooth scan, RDP, uh, Gene Max, Chimera. These uh, programs are different for methodology, for example, distance, phylogeny, and mutation. But recently, uh, not recently, <coughs> maybe five years ago, uh, Darren Martin produced RDP4 with uh, Edward Dibiki, and they produce a good uh, detection program for decombination. And the other one, selection, for selection, we have ARM, RayShift, DNS scan, and Hyper. And G or G flow, DNSP, RX, but and IBD. But the most decent, high impact, fashionable work is molecular clock. This we call beast, but very complicated. Uh, for example, if we analyze, we analyze for the first time for plant bias, we okay, and we took two years to analyze and find the result. But now maybe half year, but it takes a long time. Okay, next slide, please. So, uh, I heard that uh, you are not all plant viruses, so I introduce a little bit about plant viruses. Okay? We have many viruses. For example, animal viruses, the farm animal and human, and insect virus, fish viruses, microvirus, and fish. But uh, why we work for virus is uh, because of the agriculture in, uh, development. Okay? So I, I'm a uh, one of the plant virus in Japan. Okay, next slide, please. This is a very famous picture, color This is seen to be this is chewing. In the 16th to 19th century, the disease tree was 10 times higher in price. Okay, next slide, please. So how does the plant virus transmit? I think all, most of you know a sap, nematode, seed <coughs> transmission, and if, if, uh, insect. Uh, maybe insect is the uh, most important both virus transmission. Okay, next slide please. So, I talk, I will talk about molecular evolution epidemiology study for plant viruses. We have many plant viruses, species. For example, DNA virus, you know, single-stranded virus, DNA virus, the tomato yellow leaf curl virus. He has bed in the family gene. And uh, another one is uh, uh, double-stranded DNA virus which is a Califrao mosaic virus. We work about this one, too. And uh, my students, Yosuke, work this. And another uh, evolutionary study is uh, segmented virus, RNA virus. We also study for cucumber mosaic virus. Uh, but not yet published. We are now analyzing these half years about this. Maybe next, next month, maybe we can submit a paper. And another one is a single stranded RNA virus, which we call turnip mosaic virus. This is one of the most uh, we devoted for more than 10 years because uh, it is relatively easy to find this uh, correct virus in the world. Okay, so other virus, this virus yellow water virus is uh, uh, studied by a French uh, researcher. Uh, he's a uh, parche. He's working on this virus. Okay, so, but uh, why we use this one, Califra mosaic virus and cucumber mosaic and tunic mosaic is, uh, the reason is uh, all infect brassica plants, vegetable brassica plants. So if we study this, we can understand what happened for plant viruses. Okay, next slide please. So I have show so what is the driving force of virus evolution? I think you all know one is a mutation. And the second is recombination. Okay? Exchange the germ, a part of germ. And this is a reassortment. For example, for cucumber mosaic viruses. They exchange uh, segmented germ. And also influenza virus is this kind. Okay, next slide, please. So this is our first 
Califlar mosaic virus. This is is a Ryosuke Yasaka, is a top author. And this is for double strand DNA virus. We collected many isomers from the world and then uh, looked at uh, what happened. Okay. Okay, next slide, please. I summarize some. To investigate the pattern and the time scale of Califlar mosaic migration and evolution, we seek and analyze the full genome of 67 isolates, California mosaic virus collect mostly in Greece, Iran, Turkey, and Japan, together with nine published sequences. The ORFS have evolved at a rate between 1.71 and 5.81. That's not Ten, ten. I don't know what's <laughs> in English. Ten, four. And the submission site here, similar to those of virus with RNA or single strand. Uh, the genomes. We found four geography confined lineages, lineages that cultural mosaic virus probably spread from a single population to other part of the world around 400, only, only 400 and 500 years ago. So not so uh, all time. And is now widely distributed among the international countries. So our study represents the first reforms on the spatch, spatial and uh, temporal spread of plant virus parameters. So this is the first case for showing uh, evolution and phenomenology of the plant parameter virus. Okay, next slide, please. So, this is my uh, main talk today, Coty virus evolution. Okay, next slide. I think uh, you know the Coty virus. Uh, Coty virus is like a Vego uh, virus, account for 30% of currently known plant viruses, and have at least 180, uh, maybe now 200 definitive and possible members. Members of the, uh, this genus may cause a significant, significant losses in agriculture, <coughs> uh, pastoral, historic, horticulture, and ornamental crops. There are 73 described general plant viruses. More than 200 species of aphid spread potivirus, and most are well uh, from uh, subfamily Aphidinae. Okay. Uh, yes. <coughs> Next slide, please. So this is the, the, the first major, one of the major study of the Poti virus. And we work with the Adrian Gibbs. I think 2008, maybe. <laughs> the prehistory of Poti virus. The initial radiation was during the dawn of agriculture. Similarly, we use this program to and calibrate when the potty bus uh, arose. Mm -hmm. For example, look at this page three. This is like expansion. Mm -hmm. So this means almost, most potty bus expands at one uh, 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 similar age. Mm -hmm. Like the star we call star-like trilogy. <coughs> so our study by this analysis of the test sequence data indicates that the uh, uh, partial core protein gene of potivirus have an evol evolution rate of uh, about 1.15 times 10 4, minus 4, nucleotide substitution site year. And the initial radiation of the potivirus occurred only about 7,250 years ago. Hence, coincided with the dam of agriculture. So this may be shorter related to the agriculture. But the uh, one problem we have, this is, we analyze only by using hot protein gene. So now we need to use full gene, what happened to the protein virus. But it's a very hard work to do this. Anyway, next slide, please. So this is also us. So we, we are mainly work about turning mosaic virus. We call these Tunic mosaic virus, Japanese mosaic, Narcissus late season yellows virus, Narcissus yellow stripe virus, and Scarium mosaic virus comes here. So we call these viruses uh, of the tunic mosaic virus. So we focus here. And the other is putting virus ancestor here, because this is rhinovirus. This transmitted by mites, but others transmitted by effie. So maybe in ancient time, the potty virus was transmitted by mite, but uh, by, uh, some, uh, sometimes 
they, uh, the effort acquired the, the transmission of the virus, apotiviruses, and now become like this. So, uh, our, uh, one of the uh, objective is uh, where did tunic mosaic virus arise and where? Okay. The okay, next slide, please. So, well, this is the potivirus, uh, potivirida, uh, the table. And we have many potivirida, two, three, four, eight, eight, so far eight potivirus, potivirida uh, genus. Okay? But mostly, the most, for example, tritimovirus, gram, libo, gram. So when we look most of the host plants, many are from monocoti death. Yes. But some are from dicoti death. And uh, vector, please look at that. Some are uh, from, uh, transmitted by fungi, but some are mites and I think. Okay, so please remember this. Monocoti death and dicoti death. So, uh, we are thinking about the potivirus origin from monocot or type. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, ABN and I published one review in the, uh, I forgot the journal. Uh, and the review five passwords, 2010. This is a review, we have written. And, uh, we summarize all the potivirus evolution. So if you have a chance, please read this review. Okay, next. So I focus on molecular crop. It's not my book. <laughs> okay, let's write this. So three mosaic virus. Family potibilide genus potivirus. And infects mainly both crops and ornament species of the family Brassicaceae. So why I'm here is collecting viruses of these plants, but also other plant family. Uh, Tonic mosaic occurs throughout the world, including the temperate and subtropical regions, and transmitted by aphid. Uh, billions of including the single strand positive sense RNA. Okay, but no record on C transmission, but uh, we are not trying to find this, but not yet succeed. Okay, next slide, please. So. This is a host bent of tunic mosaic virus. Mostly Brassicaceae. But when we uh, look detail, we can find many plants were infected by tunic mosaic virus. And especially the most agriculture important crop is Brassicaceae right now. So everybody knows tunic mosaic virus is a host of Brassicaceae. But, but, others, for example, for this one, also, tunic mosaic virus orchid. Orchid is monocot, okay? But the grass is dying, so remember this. And for thinking other virus, tunic mosaic virus, Narcissa this is a uh, uh, infect Narcissus. Narcissus is a, uh, Narcissus is a, and this also in fact uh, this narcissus is also um, monocot, okay? Scalio mosaic, this is a uh, in fact Lydia cell. Okay, this is also monocots. And Japanese yarn, this is a Tiso Kore Sai. It's also monocot. So only tonic mosaic infect uh, brassicaceae, and this damages uh, modern agriculture, agriculture crops of brassicaceae. But this can also infect orchid. Okay, okay? please remember this. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, this is just a symptom of the tonic mosaic virus. This radish, this bensaniana, this broccoli, uh, this cabbage, this tonic. It's a stock flower. Okay, next slide. So, this is my first report 
on to it was a bias, but it was 2002, so 12 years ago. You know how old I am now. <laughs> but this, I devote more than five years, more than maybe, maybe more than five years, just working for sequencing, collect from the world, and this is the first paper on journal general biology. Okay? But it's okay. This is my uh, down of my, my uh, research. Okay, next slide. <laughs> so, so far, about collection of TLP. Uh, from Europe, 90 isolate, Middle East, 150, from China, around 60, India, last year I visited India, 15, and this is Vietnam, and Japan, and others. But the, I don't have it for group line. <laughs> but this one is a full genomic sequence already published. So you can find the dead uh, full genome uh, sequence in GPA. Okay. Recently we published, submitted this one. Okay, next slide, please. So these are our, oh, sorry, Japanese, but I want, I want to show you the, the years, what we have done. I started from 2002 and my previous students. <laughs> and here's maybe your study. <laughs> but uh, I, I worked for more than 10 years and I published for only for this uh, polyviruses. The next slide, please. So, this is my main topic for today. <coughs> OCHIS is a wild orchid, not a uh, uh, cultivate. This orchis is wild <laughs> Okay. Next slide, please. So this is uh, two years ago. Tuni Konsai Potibas probably first spread to Eurasian Brassica crop from wild orchid about 1,000 years ago. Okay? This is the first report on the origin of plant biosphere. Okay, next slide, please. This is the orchid. Maybe you... Maybe you have these plants, but in Japan we don't have, so I've never seen these plants. This Orchis militaris, Orchis morio, Orchis simia. And I saw it from wild oak. This is a collaboration with uh, Fette and Eto, Germany. And they have this isolate. Fette and Lesma, they have this isolate, so we collaborate with them. Uh, then, next slide, please. So Orchis. I only found in European uh, lab, but perhaps you have. If you have, please isolate TMB from here. <laughs> maybe, maybe more interesting you can find. Okay? But this is a wild monkey. But I never see, I only see, can see in picture. Okay, next slide, please. So this is a post reaction of uh, TMB from oak. Mostly cannot infect, and this is many brassica plants, all brassica, brassica cell plants. But uh, from TMB from orchids, cannot infect most brassica uh, cell plants. But this, this other, other TMB is easily infect many of the uh, brassica cell plants. So this is a big difference between uh, orchis isolate and uh, other TMB isolate. Okay, next slide, please. So, post reaction of oxyisolate from oxyisolate. Only systemically infected brassica cell plant is Eleuca sativa and Camellia sativa. This is not uh, the brassica plants, this is brassica cell plants. And other, we found only one, brassica juice, this is a master. Only infected plants, only two upper leaves from Inukian. But we cannot move to other Maybe gene silencing means that uh, this isolate. Mm -hmm. Another local region uh, leaves, Kenopotimikiloa, Kenopotimikiloa, but this isolate cannot intake most of the brassica, uh, brassica cell, only two. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, this is a 5 g of the, so just look. We found that these OX group are origin of these viruses. The next slide, please. Uh, this maybe you can easily, this is a uh, maximum likelihood tree, and then up here, 
while walking. It's located here, and then more up, up out. So this is indicate this while walking isolate is origin of other TUV uh, isolate. <coughs> okay. So next slide, please. So I will I have to introduce a little bit about the uh, beast. This in genetics, the most recent common ancestor uh, of any set of organisms is the most recent individual from which all organisms, uh, organisms in a group are directly descended. Time to MRCA estimate can be given based on DNA test result and establish mutation rate as a practice in genetic uh, gene RG or by sequence to a non-genetic mathematical model of computer simulation. This means, in, in, in short, for example, if we uh, want to know the origin and chimpanzee, this here is a time. It's a time, time to the most recent common ancestor. So we have to calculate using this by uh, the beast pro program. This can apply not only virus form, but all other uh, to, uh, organisms. Everything. We can use. Okay, next slide, please. So we calculate, but it, this different, so I don't explain it too much. Okay, next slide, please. So this is a summarize of the uh, beast analysis. This is the wild orchid. This is about one thousand more than one thousand thousand years ago from from today. Okay. So this trypanosite virus is first originated from oak, and then next change to non-cultivated can infect non-cultivated brassica plants and brassica plants and rafa. So most decent trypanosite virus have short ages, but uh, this is very old. So we found the turning mosaic virus origin is perhaps wild orchid. Okay, but this only 1,000 years ago. Time to diverge to brassica crops 1,000 years ago. Here, yeah, around here. And spread to the world. I don't know why I bring this picture. Okay, next slide, please. So I told you that the two cultivars can infect. Uh, so, uh, TMB can only be two brassica cereal plants. <laughs> this Eleuca sativa. I mean, you, you eat rocket, you no? Know? You eat maybe in Italian, very famous, salad. And another is the Camellia sativa. And this plant is uh, Eleuca sativa, also known as the rocket or Arugula. It's an edible plant. It is a species of Eleuca native to the Mediterranean region from Morocco and Portugal east to Jordan and Turkey. It has been grown in the Mediterranean area since Roman times. But this is still not crops. Still wild plants, but we eat. Not yet become the carpet baby. And the other one is Camellia sativa. It is native to Northern Europe and to the Central Asian area. It has been traditionally cultivated as an oil seed crop to produce vegetable oil and animal feed. There is a uh, ample, ample archaeological evidence to show it has been grown in Europe for at least 3,000 years. So it means all can infect old plants, but not decent plastic plants. Okay, next slide, please. So, conclusion the, uh, the oldest population of Tibia we found so far was a collection of orchids. Okay? The tree mosaic cultivars probably first spread to Eurasian brassica cereal plants from wild orchid about 8,050 years ago. And if TMB was originating in orchids, all TMB group virus have ability to infect monocotyledon. So the roots, or maybe origin of TMB is perhaps monocotyledon. So please remember, Narcissus, Japanese yam, Scarion, or uh, from the uh, monocotyledon. Hence, the potimides came from, so we are speculating all potimides are, uh, came from monocotyledon. The next slide, please. 
So this is the most recent paper, Ryosuke submitted. I don't know they accept, but we submit to Journal of General Biology. And uh, one example we show for phylodynamic evidence of migration of tuning mosaic potibus from Europe to Australia and New Zealand. And uh, we produce a graphical animation. Today I cannot show you because uh, it's difficult to show Google Earth. But uh, it can be uh, shown by Google Earth of the estimated spatial temporal movement of TMB lineage using spread version, spread, and Google Earth. Recent submit to Java. Okay, next slide. So, this is a uh, general uh, phylogy tree and uh, uh, constructed by maximum likelihood. And when we look carefully about this, AUST is uh, Australia, and Z is New Zealand. And uh, we look at the connection of other isolate from where we isolate. And this shows Europe to Australia, Europe to New Zealand. Okay, next slide. And we estimated, this is not good, estimated, uh, calculated by uh, beast software. And uh, the spatial population dynamics of TMU through time will include beast using a diffusion model with a discrete locus states. And this approach uses a model that describes the spa uh, spatial migration of TMU lineages throughout their demographic history. The most important pairwise diffusion can be identified using base factors we produce a graphical animation of the estimated spatial temporal movement of TMB lineage using spread. Okay, next slide, please. I'm sorry I cannot show the Google Earth, but uh, the result is like this. For we have many lineages, uh, phylogenetic groups, and we divide it and look what happens. Uh, is uh, Australia and New Zealand as it came from June. Uh, one phylogenetic group, basically it's a group. And for other group, uh, Germany or United Kingdom. And this group from UK. And uh, basically, there is uh, some years. Uh, basically, the oldest. And then come to go to Australia and New Zealand. But this is uh, relatively new isolate. This came from UK or uh, Germany. Next slide, please. And this in Europe, we also investigate what happened for 24 mosaic viruses in Europe, in Europe, many spread, and sometimes to the United States. This is our recent, most latest result of 24 mosaic virus. So, okay, next slide, please. Evolution of plant viruses are affected by agricultural crops. This is true. So, human beings decide which crop should be grown in the field. Okay? So human being guide virus evolution. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> and pathogen evolution is an agricultural evolution. Okay, next slide please. So, future plan. I have seven years more for working viruses. But uh, one my objective is that relation to the sheep growth. You know sheep growth? So, uh, one, molecular evolution of tumors requires. We have collected many from foreign countries, Asian, Minor, Middle East, Japan, but not yet for your country. <laughs> so I want to uh, study with uh, Alex mm -hmm. for the next few years. And then genetic population, I have not, never been Africa, in South America. But then I have. But uh, I want to also collect from here. But I don't know when we can, I can go there. And the three uh, ob objective is speculation of future virus evolutions. If we understand what now spread in, for example, Tanik Mosaicus, what spread in uh, Earth and the uh, world, we can maybe simulate uh, what virus arise or emerge. And number four, I want to contribute to the plant quality using a world group then. And this may be next co-evolution between plants and plants. 
Okay, next slide, please. So this Turkey, I have been to twice. You know this? This all Rafanas plants. Turkey is uh, one of the origin of Rafanas, such as uh, Just a mini large. I asked him, he's professor of the uh, Turkish University, and how they come here, just to sow seed and then grow. There is, okay, this chat. <laughs> Next, please. And I have been to Iran two times and collect uh, classical plants. Next slide, please. In Greece, he's Professor Curtis. <laughs> and we also collect many viruses using from the uh, cabbage and uh, broccoli and California. I have never been here. <laughs> Always fit. <laughs> but this time, I enjoyed it much. <laughs> this side is. <coughs> oh, this is DC. I'll show you his uh, picture. This is my student, previous student. And uh, he told, uh, brought me Kinja. Now it will be dangerous, so I cannot go. But the Kunmin, 2013 in India, Taiwan. And this year, I'm planning to visit to Ukraine here and maybe in the end of December, Myanmar and Thailand to collect viruses. Because I want to know how virus migrate from origin to the world. Okay, next slide, please. So, I did not show you, my talk is almost finished. I want to show you Japan. Okay. Do you know Japan? <laughs> Area and population is now, it's, please look. <laughs> now decreased because uh, yeah yeah decreased because uh, the younger uh, family don't want baby because they want to work so especially for young ladies want to work so uh, maybe one or two children in the family number one you know maybe Mount Fuji second Sakura. <laughs> Three, you know, Geisha? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe my, Maiko or something like that. <laughs> and uh, Werner, maybe you know, Samurai. <laughs> Very handsome. <laughs> okay, next slide, please. And this is Mount Fuji. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Yeah, in autumn, we can see Mount Fuji like this. Next slide, please. This is uh, also Mount Fuji, in the beginning of the winter. Okay, next slide. A cherry blossom. Do you know this? Everybody drinking too much. <laughs> Everybody forgot uh, their own selves. Drink too much. Young people have to go wait, go first, and go earlier than old people and take a place. Maybe sometimes half day they wait here and uh, they start party. Next slide is this. This also Sakura and uh, Castle. Next slide is this Maiko. Or maybe Maiko education is a little bit, bit different. Maiko is uh, in Kyoto. I only have met only once because very ex expensive to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, very uh, young, beautiful ladies are working as a micro, and they are uh, using instrumental training every day. And this is one of the uh, road in Kyoto. But also, this all I think all restaurant, but I cannot enter <laughs> because uh, many have to uh, know each other. For politicians, they are easy, but for myself, I cannot. Somebody has to take me to them. Okay, next slide, please. This is Geisha. Maiko is, uh, I don't know exactly, but Maiko is uh, mostly under 20. And Geisha is more than 20. And, but they have many, they can do many. Dancing, instrumental. So they have a stage like this. Geisha, Geiko in Kyoto Dai are professional entertainers who attend guests during the meal, banquet, and other occasions. 
they are trained in various traditional Japanese art, such as dance and music, as well as in the art of communication. Their role is to make guests feel at ease with the conversation, drinking game, and dancing. I got the phone. Okay, next slide, please. Oh, this is Kyoto. Kinkakuchi, very famous. Next slide, please. Tokyo. Too busy. <laughs> too many, too many. Okay, next slide, please. Maybe finish. Oh, I put a uh, new guy here. <laughs> But uh, my work is not only my work. I mean, it's a, a collaboration of the world researchers. For example, John Walsh, and Nikos Kartis, Shirin, and Sarbas, and this Adrian Gibbs, and I uh, have uh, This is also my student, Alice Kamingo, in Brazil. OK, I want to chase influenza virus and the <laughs> okay, next slide, please. This is Adrian Gibbs. I have been three years ago. This is his desk. He's now 77, 78. This is 78. Because he's work like this. <laughs> but brains too. <laughs> when he started the computer, I never did it back then. He's, he's, I think, super. And he published many books. And uh, one of them I wrote with him. Also, his son is champion of balloons <laughs> in Australia. So I know it. It's really connected with her. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, these are our previous and recent uh, students. When graduate ceremony, we have John Walsh visited. I invited John Walsh. I am sure they will kill out. This is just, I don't know what he's <laughs> <laughs> Next slide, please. So, thank you, Dr. Alex. <laughs> and the uh, Ukraine is one of the most important countries for virus evolution. <laughs> so, let's collect virus and make a good progression. Oh, yes, yes. And New Zealand? 
and, and you have showed pictures, no, but you didn't say anything about going to North America, uh -huh. also by ships, by, by uh -huh. transportation. Is there any data supporting that PUMB was also brought to North America or vice versa? Uh, perhaps by, mm. I don't, I'm not sure about that. Uh, perhaps by trans transportation. To US? To yeah, US. Maybe by. I was only 50 years ago. Oh, the geishas can be geisha. Yeah, this guy. Uh, this good. This color is uh, blue and green. Mm -hmm. So it means about 50, less than 1,000 years ago. So it means. Not so long time, and uh, perhaps this is just my guess. But uh, perhaps so. Still, the Europe remains the, the center of civilization. Oh yes, I think so. But uh, we have not uh, analyzed it for Middle East, and uh, from Europe, uh, USA maybe I, I guess comes from Europe. But for Asia, because we only can draw here and here, and to Australia, mm -hmm. still remains here.